All right, so let's see what we need to do next. So we've got this uh, texture we just uh, painted. And so what we can do now is go to the hyper shade and create a new uh, material. Now this is going to be the permanent material for it. And it's an AR standard surface. And we can call it character AI. And let's take a look where it is character AI there it is and we want to drop it on here so character AI boom there we go job done okay so there you go that's the uh, character AI done and so what we want to do before we plug the texture in we need to create the ambient uh, occlusion now because this is skin we can actually use the um, a subsurface panel here if we open it and this is basically to color and render skin so the weight is zero at the minute so we can bring it to one and we can plug the ambient inclusion into the subsurface color and so let's ambient inclusion AO and this is for the character and so Let's go back to the character and then we need to find the AO character which is here and just drop into the subsurface color. There we go. So the ambient occlusion is now set up. All right, okay, so we don't need the image plane anymore and we can bring back the background and the sky dome. All right, so what do we need to do next? Well, we need to plug the uh, the texture back into the material and we need to do it in the subsurface and so let's click on that so we've got the ambient occlusion and so we want to uh, plug the texture into the ambient occlusion and so let's uh, basically just click on it create a file and this is the uh, character texture so character texture and let's just open up and let's see where it is so we've got to go into uh, monster 2 and uh, 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 no we don't it's 3d paint textures and we're using volume 2 and there it is that's what it looks like and so we can open it now Boom. now it should be on there it should be on there right so let us do a test render so this is what we've got so far boom and there you have it all right now let's play around with the uh, texturing now with subsurface scattering uh, what that means is some of the light penetrates through the geometry and so what we want to do is go to the shape node and go to Arnold and switch off opaque and so opaque allows you to make your uh, geometry somewhat transparent all right that's the first step next step is taking a look at what we've got here now it's too shiny and plasticky and that's because of the uh, uh what you call it the specularity so let's put it up to one there we go i don't really want any shininess on it i mean you can have a little bit so let's say let's do point nine so it's just a tiny tiny bit uh, the weight here of the color is just ignored as you can see because uh, we're using the uh, subsurface scattering and also what we can do with the radius is uh, we can also plug in the texture or just you know assign a color like dark blue or red if it's got uh, red blood you can see some of the red sticking out now uh, do you know what I mean it's it looks kind of interesting um, the type is very important you got random walk which is pretty good but uh, with my 2020 you got version 2 random walk so it just calculates better as you can see it gets rid of that extra red that should be there um, and you can just play around with the radius the, the radius uh, determines how deep the light penetrates the uh, the geometry and so what I tend to do with this is uh, 
this is this is character texture two, and I plug in the same um, texture into the radius. There you go. And scale, I tend to leave at one. And uh, right, okay. So basically, you know, that's what we've got. And so that's what it was without the texture, and that's with the texture. And what else can we do uh, with the texture? Let's have a look. Uh, 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 uh. Color balance. Now, if you want to, you can play around with the color balance. So the exposure defaults at zero. So let's save this and let's take a look at some samples. So if you did one, for example, you're going to make the color brighter. You see, that's a bit dull. That's a bit brighter. So bright is good. Uh, maybe at 0.5. Now you can play around with the default color as well, you know, uh, so the default is at, uh, as you can see, 0.5 gray, you can play around with it if you want to. I tend to just leave it at default, you can also change the color if you want, it's entirely up to you, it just, I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but, uh, you know, there we go. And again, with the color gain, you can just bring it down and make it darker, as you can see there make it brighter, uh, colour offset, again, there we go, yes. you can play around with it, you can you can, you can can plug in uh, texture maps as well with it if you want, just to experiment, why not, you know, so you can say character texture 3, and where are we, oops, file, what happened? There we go. And just plug this in, and just to see what happens. There we go. And again, you know, with the ex exposure, you can play around with it, make it even darker. It's entirely up to you. That's a bit dark there. I kind of like that, that brightness there. Um, boom, 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 boom. What else can we do? I think that is fine. It's uh, not looking too bad, actually. Not looking too bad. Uh, what else? Colour offset. I thought I plugged it in. Didn't I plug it in? Uh, I did. Okay, and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I know what's happened. Control Z just to get rid of it. Right. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and we can play around with the background as well. And let's have a look. What can we do with a blue? It's not too bad actually, the background. Let's have a look. You can make it darker. Or you can just put it back to white and just bring it down. It's entirely up to you, just play around with it. I'm going to probably leave it around there. Maybe just add a bit of pale orange, yellow to it. Very pale. Uh, let's have a look. Not 
a big fan of that. I'm just going to bring it back down to about here. I think that's fine. Okay, so that's what we have so far, and that's with the textures on, and so we're not quite finished yet. What we can do is bring in some uh, extra lights and just, uh, you know, play around with it and just see if we can just get it to be a bit better looking. So I will see you next video.